For this project, you'll need bonded cuddle fabric. It has imitation suede on one side and imitation sheepskin on the other. Begin by cutting off any selvage. For the largest size of boots, you'll need approximately 15 by 10 inches of fabric. I'm making size 6 to 9 months, which requires about 14 by 9 inches. Print and cut out the PDF pattern. Fold the fabric in half with the pile on the inside of the fold. Pin on the pattern pieces and cut out. You should have two of each piece. Now we'll sew around the edge of the shin piece for durability. You'll notice a triangle border around the edge of your pattern. This is where you'll sew on your fabric. If your machine has an overcast stitch, use that. Otherwise, you can use a tight zigzag stitch. Lay the toe piece down with the suede side up. Lay down the shin piece on top of it, pile side up, matching up the curves. The pointed corners of the toe piece will hang over just a bit. Pin the pieces together. Change back to a straight stitch. Sew the two pieces together using a quarter inch seam. Follow the curve carefully as you sew. Remove the pin from your fabric. You'll notice on your pattern that the sole is not quite symmetrical. The left side is made to fit the big toe. Make sure you're sewing the correct pieces together by laying the sole suede side down and then wrapping the shin piece around on top of it. You want the open side of the shin piece to be on the right. Now we'll attach the sole. Flip over the sole so the suede side is facing up. With the shin piece pile side up, line up the top center of the sole with the top of the toe piece. Pin together. Starting in the middle of the toe, sew around the left side of the boot using a 1 4 inch seam. Match up the top piece to the bottom sole piece. The key to making a perfectly shaped boot is to always follow the shape of the sole. You'll need to turn and adjust the top fabric to make it match the sole's shape. Stop right before you reach the heel area. Remove the fabric from your sewing machine and take out the pin. Now line up the other side of the shoe with the sole. You'll start sewing near the back of the shoe and work your way around to the toe. Always follow the curve of the sole. Now we'll sew the heel area. Line up the top fabric with the sole and put a pin in the center of the heel. Make sure your fabric isn't puckering. Sew the heel in place. Turn the boot right side out. Push out all of the seams. It's time to add the Velcro. Attach it along the curve of the side flap, but not too high. You want to have the option of rolling the top cuff down. Line up the coordinating piece of Velcro on the other side so that the Velcro matches up properly when the flap is closed. Pin, then sew in place. If you'd like, you can sew decorative buttons along the flap of the boots. Buttons can be a choking hazard, so be sure to sew tightly and always supervise baby. Pattern for private use only. For more project ideas and tutorials, visit www.madebymarzipan.com.